So I wanted to make this video because it was confusing. Um, I've had to get three remotes in one on this device in particular. It wasn't clear, so I've made it clear. This is an all-in-one remote. I'll put the description in the link below. It allows you to reprogram every single button on here if you wanted to, but it's really primarily fun primar primary function is to use it for, for media streamers like Apple TVs, Fire Sticks and, th and Roku's. You can see that the Roku buttons and the buttons on it are very, very similar. Um, the uh, What I use it for is really, I've customized a few buttons and I'll show you exactly what I use it for. So I have a, um, a Denon amp or an AVR. So all of my input signals go into this, this device here. You can see I've got the Roku here. I've even got an Alexa plugged in, but that's, that's nothing to do with this remote. Um, and then I've got a, a mini PC that I've got plugged in to the AVR. The AVR is connected to the TV via ARC. Um, and if you don't know about ARC, look it up. It means that when you turn your amp on, your TV will automatically turn on, basically. That's, that's what I get from it. So simply, you just, I, I press this button and it will turn on my, it will turn on my amp. So that one's for the amp there. So if I press that, the amp turns on. Okay, that's it on. And then the TV turns on. Okay. So immediately I've got my AVR or my amp to, to display the Roku. So the Roku automatically comes on. This remote straight away just works with the Roku, no problems at all. Um, the only problem with the Roku is that the, the, the customizable buttons um, for launching apps are sort of set to only a few apps on the Roku. And you can't change them. So for example, you can't change to whatever app you want to open for a shortcut. That's not something Roku allows you to do. If anybody knows how to do it, please help me out and, and let me know. Um, you can reprogram these buttons to do different things. Um, it, it basically, when you reprogram this device, you just point another remote at the top and it will just learn the signal from that other remote. So for example, if I press this button, I've programmed that on my for my AVR to change audio signals so you can see that the audio signal can be can be changed by pressing that button and that's just something that I wanted because I, I have a, a sound system that I like different modes on. Um, I wanted also the inputs to change so for example I wanted to be able to change to my PC so I set these two buttons to do that. If I press the minus button it'll flick to the PC. It's gone blank because the PC is not on um, and then I can also press that plus button just to go back to the Roku. Um, the only thing for the TV um, was this button is the input change. I don't use it. I don't use the TV, so I wasn't particularly interested in it. I couldn't get the remote easily to work with WebOS on the TV. If that's something you want to do, um, good luck. I think you'd need to program the whole remote to do that. I flicked through all the modes and I was just curious to see if it would work with my TV OS, like which is an LG web OS, but it, it, it just didn't. And I gave up but just, just because I'm not interested in, in using it for that. Um, I hope this video has helped, um, helped uh, some people out.